they are not aware that we are uh, USA citizens. It was in 1917 uh, when the US imposed, and I like to highlight that, because the, first they went into asking if we want. And there was a referendum and most of the Puerto Ricans say no. We want to stay a uh, Puerto Rican citizen. And that's when the US say, doesn't matter, you are becoming USA citizen. Of course, at that moment, you had to understand they were trying to find people, soldiers to send to the First World War. So someone came up with this idea, get the Puerto Ricans. And someone else said, they're not USA citizens. So that was the real motivation behind this. Uh, but of course, uh, also, uh, it's very important that we understand that it's a second class citizenship. So Puerto Ricans in Puerto Rico do not have the power to vote for the president of the United States. But it's not only that. We don't have the power to elect people from Puerto Rico to go into the USA Congress. So we have the power to elect someone that we call a, a, a commissioner resident in Washington, someone who can talk but no vote. The, the other is like uh, for uh, jumping into international economy. No, we are subordinated. Doesn't matter that we are uh, citizens of the United States. The U.S. make all the decision with whom, how, and how much. What is the Commonwealth in 1952? It was established as that after you know decades of, of suppressing national liberation movements. What does that do? First, the big motivation behind the so-called Commonwealth that we're still trying to find a definition, in, at least in Spanish, it's a Estado Libre Asociado. And if you go into translation to that, it's supposed to be a state, it's supposed to be associated, it's supposed to be free. And we know that it's not a state, it's not free, and it's not associated. So we have no idea what is the real meaning of the so-called Commonwealth of Puerto Rico. Uh, they like to say uh, that it was Luis Muñoz Marín who came up with this brilliant idea. No, it was the USA Congress. People there who want to legalize everything that they do in this country is always legal. Doesn't matter that it's slavery. Doesn't matter that they're going to execute you. Whatever they're going to do has to be legal. So the United Nations was giving the US a hard time with this issue that you have, you have a country there that is a colony. So they want to get the name of Puerto Rico out of that list. So they came up with this little package that they call the Commonwealth. Uh, but when you look at this, it's subordination of the power. Because our constitution that came out uh, from there is more or less a copy album of the U.S. Constitution. But from the beginning to the end, there is something clear. All the power is surrendered to the USA Congress.